just taking you shopping with me. We're just browsing around Walmart. Remember that old sun in that they used to have? That stuff turned my hair like a Ronald McDonald red one year. Keratin collar. Chef said he divorced me if I ever collared my hair red. <laughs> Silly butt. Just going through and looking at some of the stuff that they have. I'm riding on one of these buggies because my knee. I can't walk around Walmart. I wouldn't make it very far at all. <sighs> Maxi pads. Thank God I don't need those anymore. <laughs> <sighs> those were the days. Those are cute hair ties. I have a bunch of these that are plastic and it's like I can't wear them because my hair gets tangled in them. Any of you guys wear those ones that look like the old timey phone cords? Because I can't. Ooh, that's a pretty palette right there. That's real pretty. It's called Magna Magnifies Rainbow Edition by Rimmel. It's really pretty. Got some pretty collars in it. Here's all the elf stuff. It's kind of expensive, but it's not terrible. So, kind of noisy in here. They don't have that palette that I bought. Over here's hair cutting stuff and Q-tips, mirrors. I remember Christmas before last, bless Chef's heart, he bought me two mirrors. I'm like, I know I'm big, but I don't need two makeup mirrors. <laughs> He's like, well, I thought one might be better than the other one, so. Ooh, there's a nice, oh so kind, variable temperature one inch curling wand, and it says it's for fine hair. $29.97. You have all kinds of curling wands and flat irons and stuff nowadays. So. Pretty good stuff. That's a pretty curling brush. I've never been able to use those because my it's a dryer and brush in one and my hair gets tangled up in it. So I can't use those things. Let's see what Revlon's got a bunch of different oh those are pretty. See those shimmery shimmery eyeshadows up there? Those are really pretty. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be young again. And to be able to use a lot of this stuff. It's like now, I mean, it's still fun to put on, but, you know, when you're old, you're old. I like looking at the lipsticks and stuff, too. There's only certain collars I wear, but it's like I get tired of wearing the same old collar. You guys relate with me? Oh, that's a different wet brush. You can hang that up in your shower. See that one up there? It's got a hook. And you hang it in your shower. I love my wet brush. I have two of them. I absolutely love it. I would be lost without it. Shower caps. Hair clips. I need to find just some regular clips. Not the kind like a... Some people wear it, it just slides into your hair, but I need the kind that actually clip clip. I had some. And they got lost in the move, so I don't know where they're at now. But those are great for when you have to scrub your face or put makeup on or anything like that. See like these kind that just slide. They just slide into your hair. I need the old fashioned kind that fast actually fasten. I don't see much of them anymore. Here's, it says all day hold. But, see these? But again, yeah, they just slide and snap. 
you can see that they just slide and snap they don't actually clip clip may have to go to Sally's to find something like that but yeah these are the things that I have they look like old extension cords my sister-in-law bought me a whole bunch of them off of Amazon but I just can't wear them because they will tangle up my hair for certain so anyway chef's out looking at plants He's a glutton for punishment. He's already talking about he's got too many plants. Uh-oh. Mishap, Mishap at Walmart. Look, ladies, we hit the money hole in case you guys didn't see that. All these Revlon or L'Oreal lipsticks for a dollar. Dollar for concealer. Oh, here's another one. All these are. Yeah. Concealer for I it's really hair. dark though. Look up here. That's pretty. Really dark one. Uh huh. That's pretty for a dollar. L'Oreal. It's got various. Various lipsticks up here. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. Milano. That's a pretty color. For a dollar. Oh, how cute is this? It's a cute stick. See the lipstick collar in there? It's red. I have enough reds. Lord knows. It's not pretty. We love to do the clearance aisle. Olay body conditioner for 50 cents. Yeah, hair turbans. Like you dry your hair off. Oh, well, I don't know about drying your hair. I think just a just turbans. They don't feel very absorbent. Here's some more L'Oreal. This is pretty also. Very pretty for a dollar. Never hurts to get pine salt. I think they're all the same color. I think I might get these two. For a dollar, yeah. What else they got? Oh, they got a medical info bracelet for a dollar. That'd be a nice thing to have. Over here, it's all sporting stuff. Jock strap, anybody? <laughs> what? Oh, Dr. Scholl's Memory Fit Massaging Gel Insole. I got two pairs on $6. Heck yeah. I would get them. Uh. No, uh -uh. Here's just some Aramis cologne. Regularly $40. It's on clearance for $8. You see that, guys? $8. Chef is so picky about his perfumes, though. His colognes that he wears. He only likes one kind. I like Drakkar, the old Drakkar. That's a nice bracelet. It says peanut allergy, a dollar. That's super cute. Peanut allergy for a dollar. Mm. That's cute. I think that's. I think I'm gonna get it anyway because we can stick it in a giveaway box or if somebody has a family member that has a peanut allergy, a child. Oh yeah, that's cute. Uh, if you think we need more 4th of July stuff. This is all just water filters and racquetball rackets stuff over here. I think I'm gonna grab those too. Oh, to make pickles? Yeah. Too bad it's not drinkable. It's a dollar six. What's two forty six? 
pour over fresh veggies and let it ferment. Yeah. Olive oil. Uh, smooth in cold pudding for your hair. Perky bust, boosting tone mask for your boobs. Perky bust, and one for your neck. We've had a lot of. If it was, if it was Father's Day, maybe this would probably make a great gift for Jack and Dick's beer. Yeah, one of these Tap Pro. Turns every beer, bottled beer, into draft beer. It's usually $9.88, two bucks. Yeah. Two dollars. Chef doesn't drink. No, 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 no. Reusable face mask. Oh, yeah. Bedding set. Ooh, that one's pretty right there. That's a pretty bedding set. Wonder what size it is. Very pretty. Oh, it's just a twin or an extra large twin. Fifteen seventy one regularly. Forty four eighty eight. Comes with a twin comforter, one standard pillow sham, three coordinated throw pillows, and a three piece twin sheet set. It's not bad. That's pretty. All of these are twins, though. They're usually three forty-six. Dollar forty-six. I think the good morning daily wellness vitamins for dogs. Oh, vitamins for dogs, yeah. I think they're like a little bone. Uh, and they look like bones. Buy one of them for that. Sure. Never hurts them to have a vitamin. I don't know how many's in there, but who'd you get one? Total wellness. I don't know what you get one. Dave could get two, like Sandy needs three. So. Yeah, it didn't hurt. What do I need to buy one or two? I just get one in case they don't want to need it. Look at Old Mother Hubbard. Oh. Old Mother Hubbard dog treats. <laughs> Look at those. Old Mother Hubbard classic original assortment oven baked dog biscuits. Three dollars. Regularly five forty seven. We got this, this is cute for somebody who just needs a little waste basket for their bathroom. It's got the toothbrush holder, the soap holder, $2. Uh, not a whole lot in our discount aisle today. Yeah, they got a lot of sheet sets over here. Hit the wrong direction. <clears throat> Sheet sets, ten dollars. Cleaning king. Oh, it's just a fitted sheet. You gotta buy the. This is the whole sheet set for twenty-five. Or you can buy the. You can buy this one for ten a piece. Uh -huh. Now they got a spinner made for you. Oh, uh, pop socket truth or dare? Yeah, you put it on the back of your phone. Uh -huh. Watch what it looks like when you put it up. I get to spin now. Well, it was spinning good, dang it. Oh, shit. It, it'll only spin when you have no. the camera off. Yeah, I, I, just a second ago I had it just flipping around like. How funny. That won't spin, but I had it. It, it spins so fast you could see all, everything through it. You know? Uh huh. Now I can't get to do it. That's cute. Fifty. It was four eighty-eight. Uh huh. Sorry. Oh well. Super cute. <sighs> I guess that's about it. There's not a whole bunch of other stuff here in the clearance aisle. So that's kind of blah. More sheet sets. Those are $30 though. Not a big clearance sale. That was cute. Paris. La Paris. 
Bedding set. Complete bedding set. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Happy be at National, National Nurses, Nurses Day. Day. Welcome to our house. I'm Nurse Penguin. And I'm not a nurse chef. And we have a little haul for you, and Chef's controlling the camera. Yeah, I got the camera tonight, so... We're gonna, penguin is tired. We're going to do the cold stuff first so I can get it put in the refrigerator. Uh, the lady just happened to be out marking meat down when he's over there. I got some really good deals on some stuff, even though we ain't got much room. Uh, I got some uh, country-style ribs there. One's got a bone in it. The rest don't. Five twenty-eight marked down. So she knocked uh, about a buck off, but there's 3.24 pounds of pork rib there. Uh, usually, I always put the big steaks back because I won't pay for them, but she convinced me to go ahead and get this one. It is a country a cowboy ribeye. It was eighteen twenty one down to ten thirty eight when it's like really thick bone in, but man, it's a good looking steak. And we buy these every now and then. They're really good if you cook them out on the grill. You just gotta add a little seasoning to them. It's the ground beef and pork blend patties. They had them marked down not quite half price, but three seventy seven for six big patties. They don't shrink a whole lot either, so you end up with a burger about the size of a quarter pounder when you're done. You, like I said, you just gotta add seasoning to them. They don't got a lot of seasoning. And we've seen this, and since we're not dieting right at the moment, we decided we was going to try it. Great value, root beer and vanilla float flavored. Never had that one before, so we're going to give it a shot. And uh, it's the tiny chopped up beef for the Cadillo, like the recipe I did, the Peruvian Cadillo. Mm -hmm. They had that one marked down to 422. It's almost a pound, 0.93 of a pound. Yeah. And we bought this because we got a pizza, so I'm going to add some Italian sausage to it. Bob Evans Italian sausage. And really don't have room for these, but I grabbed them anyway. Sugar-free Junior Pops. Cherry, grape, and orange. There's 20 of them. They were only $1.98, and there's no carbs. The normal sugar-free pops have four carbs per pop yeah, in them. I'm afraid they'd be out by the time we go back, but if you look real close there, guys... It is uh, 18 grams of carbohydrate and 18 sugar alcohol. So they are zero. Three pops have nothing. So, and we got uh, a thing of sour cream because we're a little low on sour cream after the eating it on the uh, tamale pie last night from that video. And we got a gallon of milk. So I'm going to get that stuff put away and I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys, it's Penguin. Um, Chef had to run back out to the truck because... Penguin left a bag out there, so we have a couple more cold things. Um, we were going to get that normal, that great value pizza that we always, that we did the video on, that we always get, and we tweak it ourselves, but they had this humongous big boy pizza. I mean, it is huge. I don't even, it's two pounds, nine ounces, and they had it marked down, um, basically almost half off. It was only $3.57. It's the extra large size. Of the market side, and it has sliced and diced pepperoni, shredded mozzarella, and provolone um, with pizza sauce. These are really good if you've never had those. They're not bad either. So, we got one of those that we're going to tweak um, with the uh, Italian sausage that Chef showed you. And then they had some chicken wings marked down because he likes to have chicken wings with his pizza. I don't really care too much. I mean, I like chicken wings, but I don't need them with my pizza, but... Grab these because they had a mark down. But this is what I love when I'm too lazy to make my own. And this is macaroni salad. I like the regular or the Amish. So they had this on sale for $2. And this is a two-pound one. And then also, Chef was craving some juice. So we got uh, half a gallon of the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. So that's it. And we'll be right back with the rest. Okay, guys. We're back. Uh, I'm going to jump to the Dollar Tree stuff I got real quick so we can get it put up. Found this. Uh, they only had two of them left. It says family. Nice picture frame there. It's a standing one. Or you can hang it. And then I got me... We're going to paint it. I got me three bags of my coconut things. I like them. And I bought me some more of the Job's Spikes. We've seen these at Walmart, too. The same package at Walmart was $1.34, and you can get them for a buck at the Dollar Tree. And I've been breaking them in half and using them on my little plants. And speaking of plants, uh, uh, I'll, I'll have her insert the pictures right here. I took pictures. I, I separated a lot of my peppers and a lot of my beefsteak tomato blend kinds I got because I got three kinds of different beefsteaks. But, man, there's just tons of them. I know they're not all going to make it, but I'm not going to do this again unless I get a make myself a greenhouse or a hot house. Now the 
And I got these sticks, there's 12 in a package. They are bamboo skewers, 12 piece, and they're like, I don't know, what do you say, three foot tall? Oh yeah, yeah two and a half at least. Yeah, I'm gonna use them, I have four tomato cages, but you can take and stick these in the pots and tie them to the tomato plants and pepper plants to help hold them up so they don't fall over. So I bought a couple packs of them, there's only a buck. I have a few regular steaks, but. That would make some great kebabs with you guys. Yeah, it would. And then uh, I got us a table cover we can use here pretty soon. It's cheap when they get their throwaways, so just a plastic table cover, but it looks like the American flag. I know I'm kind of close here. And I found uh, some paper plates, the American flag paper plates. And I th thought this was different. It's a aroma diffuser. Oh, big man. It's battery powered. We got a couple of aromas around. Uh, the scent stuff you put in them. So we just thought I bought one for a buck. I thought we'd try it, see if it actually has any uh, butt to it, to where it'll uh, spray it out. A, good. Spray out, yeah. Instead of having to leave something plugged in, water-free, diffusing, battery-operated. Yeah, let me hold the camera. Dollar. And I got two more of these. I bought one already to go around the tree I planted. Uh, <laughs> hello, Pood. Yes, everybody knows who exists. Pudu. Uh Out in front of our house, uh, our fireplace everybody where the chimney knows. goes. Is, uh, there's an overhang over part of it, but not all of it, right next to our front porch. Our front porch has got an upper part, and then you step down, it's a lower part. It's got a brick wall in front, because our house is brick. Well, on out, it's flat right there. I'm going to finish leveling it, and I'm going to make a small little... Uh, it's almost it's almost six by eight. I'm going to make a little patio. I'm going to move my uh, big smoker off the deck, so we have more room on the deck, and I'm going to put it down there. So I thought I'd lay this stuff down like you see in the picture before I did that. That way we wouldn't have weeds growing up in it. But I got two of them for a buck. That's the end of the Dollar Tree stuff. And we'll get back to the Walmart stuff. Okay, got a few plants too. I planted strawberry seeds in a couple of containers from Dollar Tree. But they've not come up yet. And that being said, my green bell peppers haven't popped. My uh, Some of the tomatoes, even though I got tons of them, they didn't pop. Uh, so I, I really wanted to have some strawberries. Well, I got to look, and these are three forty-seven out in the thing. I think there's actually two plants there. Both of these have two strawberry plants in the pot. So I'm going to plant two of them in pots. Because he's going to grow a big plant like Bird's Nest has. And, and the other two, I'm going to plant next to my blueberries we have outside. Because right now they're loaded. There must there's hundreds of blueberries that are green on there. But I'm going to plant them in the same raised box I made for those. Uh, I know she already told you once, but when I was uh, putting uh, seven dust on the trees out there, uh, the little, the two little peach trees at least have about 24 uh, little bulbs. bulbs. I guess they're going to turn into peaches, and one of the apple trees had bulbs, and one of the uh, pear trees had bulbs so far. So I think we're, even though you're not supposed to get none until next year, I think we're actually going to get some fruit off of them. We're hoping we're going to get some fruit. And if we do, we're going to let you guys know because we'll be making something out of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any raspberries yet. But once I get some of these out of the house, so there's room because I've taken over our washer and dryer area. <laughs> he has. Uh, I bought some cayenne red peppers to dry, and that way we have fresh cayenne pepper. You, you string them on, on a piece of thread and hang them, and then you can crush them up and dry them. Just and, don't stick them in your mom's meatloaf. Yeah. And <laughs> I always wanted to grow tomatillos, and i seen these are purple tomatillos. So hopefully one of them pepper plants I got gives us purple peppers, and hopefully I got some purple tomatillos. What but, is it with you in purple? I don't know. I like, like I said, purple's different. Uh, Peter Piper picked a pick of purple tomatillos. I'm going to go put this stuff up and then I'll show you the rest of our haul. Just to pan up to that. Hey, everybody. It's me, Penguin. I'm holding the camera again now. I just wanted to say, you guys know I always talk about Chef. And no, we're not perfect because we bicker a lot. Trust me, we do. But since today was National Nurses Day and I'd actually forgot all about it, he said, honey, today's National Nurses Day. Come on, let's go shopping. So when we were at Walmart, he's like, anything you want, you see? He said, get it. I don't really need much, but I did find a couple of things. And then he actually said, you didn't spend very much. Pick you out something else. I'm like, no. But I just thought it was really sweet. So he's going to show you what we got. Yeah, she picked her out a new sleep top. Uh, Those are my favorite pajama tops. It's a 
secret treasures. Yeah, secret treasures. They're so stretchy and light. Yeah, it's really stretchy. That's like the third one I have. It's just a different design. And I know she was talking to you guys there on the video. She'll probably input that right here. Yeah. She got her some markdown stuff there. L'Oreal. That one's L'Oreal. That, that one's L'Oreal. And this one's Milani. They are regularly yeah. seven ninety seven on clearance for a dollar, yeah, if you can see that. Yep. She got those. And she needed a new set of earbuds, so... He keeps trying to get me to get the wireless, expensive ones, but I don't want them. I go through earbuds too fast. So she, I got her that pair there. She wanted the mint green ones. Yeah, you can't tell they're mint green because the light, they look light, and but... I know these are not marked, but they had these on the discount aisle. The peanut butter lovers one that's got the peanut butter on top. Yeah. King size for a buck. I'm going to be scarfing into one of those here in a minute, they're too. Using like $2. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Oh, yes, I did show you guys this in the clearance aisle, too. If you can see this, um, it's got, like, Paris. It's got French stuff on it. It was regularly 40 dollars on sale for 16 yeah. It's for a twin-size bed, but I got it because a lot of times, Chef will sleep in the recliner and I'll sleep on the couch. And that's what she covers up with, a yeah. twin-size. So, just a twin-size comforter, because the one I have right now is the Disney's Frozen. <laughs> so... I went ahead and took those $6 Memory Fit Massaging Gel insoles. I'm going to try them. I don't know if they'll work in my shoes or not because I got bad feet. I was born with flat feet. And if you have flat feet, you know what I mean. So I'm going to try and see if those help out any. Yeah. And we needed some new sponges for the kitchen. So we got some Scott's Bright sponges. Yeah, got some sponges. I usually get the Ocella, but I got these this time. And got a... Uh, cherry six, cheese Danish. Six pack of cherry cheese Danish. $3 for those. Yeah. They had their... Pineapples on sale for $1.64. They're Del Monte pineapples. And that one's ripe. And if you guys don't know how to tell the pineapple's ripe, I didn't know. She taught me. You go up here to the top where the, the, the leaves are. The leaves are at, and you find a little one, and you pluck it. If it comes out real easily? Yeah, real easily, it's, it's ripe. If it's hard to pull, it's not ripe. Because some of them, you can try to pull them, and you'll end up picking up the whole pineapple. Yeah, so. If it comes off without much resistance, then it's, it's ripe. Yeah. And then uh, she seen this on one of your guys' YouTube hauls. I you? think it was Jules and M that had that Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. We found this Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper and cream soda. So we're going to try it and see if it tastes like the real thing. They said it, theirs tasted like the real thing. Yeah. That'd be great. Cause like I said, that's the one thing I haven't cheated on yet. I haven't drank in real pop. So right. I, I, Dr. Pepper would be another great thing to have. Sounds really good because Dr. Pepper floats are good. So you figure with cream soda, it should taste something like that. And I grabbed a bag of these. Like I said, we got a recipe coming up. And we I grabbed Parmesan chips and she grabbed a bag of the... Uh, mesquite barbecue. Mesquite barbecue, but they really weren't that barbecue-y. They I've were lazy, yeah. yeah. I grabbed these. I've had these before. They're not very expensive. And they're a really crunchy hard chip, and they got a really strong, good barbecue flavor. So I think these will go better on that. They are honestly a lot better than the name brand. Yeah, I think they'll go a lot better than the rest of, on the recipe that we got coming up. But you guys will probably really like that recipe. We're going to do it here pretty soon. That way you guys can make them for uh, your friends and family or whoever you're going to Fourth of July uh, or Memorial Day. Memorial Day, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really good thing to have. It's a copycat kind of recipe we took and, and yeah. tweaked it up ourselves. So Definitely. Let, let me snag these things away, and we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. We're back. She wanted something for a late night munchies, so she grabbed a 12 pack of the chicken ramen. You guys notice how prices are going up on everything, too? Uh, the trash bags got a uh, 20 count of 33 gallons. They went up. Got a. Uh, Those for our bathroom trash uh -huh. cans. They, they went up. Uh, Putta Putt uh, gave her our, our shelter dog that we got that he's not quite right in the head. He's been wanting these a lot lately instead of regular bones. They're a little more expensive, but I went ahead and bought them because everybody else eats them, too. And speaking of doggy stuff, you know me. Who didn't get a toy this time, but I found this over there. Cool to be kind. Yeah, just his size. It says for Jack Russell Terriers, Pugs, and Shih Tzus. Yeah. So, like I said, he's got more clothes than we do. He likes he likes to wear clothes. Thinks he's a little kid. Uh, I got this in the markdown aisle. Showed it to you already on the thing. It was a buck. That's a pretty good price for Pine Saw, I thought. Mm hmm And love the smell of Pine Saw. I grabbed one of the. Two uh, morning vitamin things. They got this little bones. Hopefully, I can get them to take them. There was only two of them. I took one. Our dogs are so finicky when it comes to food. Yeah. And I needed some powders. Uh, summer's here. Getting warm outside. I got to wear powder. You, people know what I mean. 
<laughs> things chafe and rub. So I got some regular old baby powder, and she suggested I could try some of the medicated. So I told him to get the gold bond, but you know he's thrifty. Yeah, it was eight dollars for the gold bond. This one was uh, only three dollars and something. So I figured I'd try the equate. Most of the equate stuff just as good as the gold as the name brand anyway. Not all, but most. And I know I got showed these to you on a haul earlier. I bought like six of them for here. Really good hand soap. I got these two. Mother's Day's coming up, and I got my mom a card and a, a Panera Bread uh, gift card. She it. likes Panera Bread, so we yeah. got her a gift card for Panera Bread. But I'm going to give her these two, too, just to give them to her. They're not a No, a it's Mother's not Day. a Mother's Day gift. But they still have a few of them left for 50 cents a, a thing. It smells really good. It does a good job washing your hands. Plus, it's supposed to kill, washes away germs good. So, Life Boy, good name brand. And I just wanted to add real quick, while we're sitting here and we're talking about holidays and stuff, guys, we are almost at 650 subscribers. We keep getting close, and then we fall back a little bit. But I'm going to say again, our P.O. Box, box address is in our description box. And we would really, really, really love to, to get some pictures of your pets. Um, you don't have to send a picture of yourself if you don't want to. We totally understand. But we'd like to see it, at least get a picture of your pets if you're comfortable with that. So, because we have a special contest that we want to do in the near future. So, if, whenever we get to 650 and hold it for a little bit. Yeah, we're going to get to 650 and hold it for just a little bit. And, and then she'll insert the our P.O. Box address right here. Yeah, I'll put P.O. Box on the screen so you guys can see it also. So. I needed, I needed some more cashews, so I got me another little $2 thing of cashews. And it's great if you guys send them to us through email, but we don't have a way to print them out here. So that's why we just like to have a hard copy in the mail, if if possible. And she's got another recipe coming up, a dessert recipe for you guys. She needed some pineapple tidbits for her, so we got a can of pineapple tidbits. And white cake mix in that one. And... White icing. Yeah, going to be a great cake for summertime. And I found this marked down to 30. They're usually 50 cents anyway, but I found a little apple pie for 34 cents. Apple pie didn't sound bad to me tonight, so I thought I had a little apple pie. Uh, these were like a buck 20 or a buck 30. Yeah, not very much. But they're the potable kinds. You, you put the plant in them now, so when some of my tomatoes or peppers get a little bit bigger and need to be taken out of the little containers, I'm going to repot them in this, and then I can just put them in the big pot. Without taking them out of here and disturbing them any. Because it grows right through the bottom. And this, these are... Biodegradable. Yeah, biodegradable. So that's why I got those. Mm -hmm. uh, about out of rice. So we got, we're got we trying to switch to brown rice and eat brown rice since it's healthier rice. It few, actually tastes better. Few less carbs. Uh, <coughs> I got a grape drink mix. So I got me some more Walmart grape. Uh, you seen that big pizza we're having tonight? That's what the Italian sausage was for to go on it with the pepperonis. And I, we both like black olives. She likes them a lot. I like them a little. But we're going to slice up some of those and put on there and then keep the rest to eat. Yep. And she wanted some, she needed some more ice and she needed some bangs. She didn't get any bangs because they didn't have any flavors there that she really liked. But I got two strawberry watermelon and a black raspberry ice for her. She usually drinks about a bang a day and an ice a day is what she drinks. So. And I don't know if this video will go up before you guys know or not. But I got a call today and the laptop battery did come in today. <laughs> So we will be going and picking that up tomorrow. So we're hoping that we might be able to do a live sometime over the weekend. And again, you guys might see this before or after, but just FYI, we're going to try. And I'm a poet and I didn't know it. You was going to show them the receipt or something? Oh, know? yeah. I just want to, sometimes people show receipts, how much they spent, but I don't know if, if you guys can see that on there, but our total for tonight was 226 97. Yeah, 25 of it was that Panera Bread gift card for my mom's yeah. Mother's Day. So. 226.97 and I, think, I think Chef only spent like $11 in Dollar Tree. Yeah, I didn't spend much in there. Yeah. I thought we did pretty good on that Markdown Meat stuff. It was fairly Heck yeah, cheap. that cowboy ribeye. Holy Moses. Yeah, usually they're a lot higher than that even when, even when they're marked down. But the other stuff too, your makeup you got, the dog bones. So. And here's one of the, if you guys haven't seen the peanut, peanut butter lovers. Reese cup. That's what they look like because we already cracked one open. Thank you, Chef. Very much. Pretty good. <laughs> that, that's what I'm going to get to doing. I got to get the pizza. Right there, made, guys. So mm -mm, we can eat. Mm -mm. And then I got to get the dogs fixed because it's already about 1 a.m. So. 
We've been doing better about getting up earlier. Well, I did today, but Chef was still worn out from working outside. After yesterday, after I had my tamale pie, I went up in the chair and I passed out for like three hours. Uh huh. And then I got up and fed the dogs and I fell back asleep about seven o'clock this morning. And I remember waking up at two something when she was talking to me and I thought I was getting up. And the next thing I know, it was five o'clock. So I tried to wake him up at like 1230 and then again at two. And then again at 2.30, and I'm like, ah, I'm just going to let him sleep. <laughs> Ain't really tired. I ate a lot of weed yesterday. Yeah, he did a lot of outside stuff. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. Right? Yeah, that's all we got. That's enough. For so, sure. I, the next video we'll be back with will probably be her dessert she's going to make for you guys. Yeah. So. We're going to make ourselves a cake. A cake that you guys can make for your family and friends over the... Summertime holidays or just for, just because you want to, to show them some love. All right, guys, we will see you in the next video. See you guys later. Night, guys. Good night.